This is the Daily Love Podcast. L O V. Legere, orare, vivere. To read, to pray, to live. The Word made flesh. Our Lord Jesus Christ. Hello to all of you listening. This is Regan, guest member of the Lexio Divinia team, bringing you the Daily Love Podcast. Happy Easter to you all. Join our love. Verbum Dei family, and save it as all. Christ is risen. Alleluia. He is truly risen. Alleluia. The Lord is risen from the grave. Alleluia. Who hung upon the cross for us. Alleluia. Today, Wednesday of the fifth week of Eastertide, we keep on rejoicing and celebrating the victory of life over death as we remember that Easter is not about a people, but all people, but God's love and salvation are for all who confess with loud voices, hearts and lives, that the tomb is empty, because our Lord Jesus Christ is risen. It is by exploring the word of Christ that we root ourselves in him, deepen our relationship with him, and see his presence in our life. Dear brothers and sisters, let's all begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the Spirit of Truth, who comes from thee, Holy God, Enlighten our minds and lead us all to the truth as your Son promised us. Amen. So, today we are in the Gospel according to John, and we read chapter 15, verses 4 and 5. Make your home in me, as I make mine in you. As a branch cannot bear fruit all by itself, but must remain part of the vine. Neither can you unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever remains in me, with me in him, bears fruit in plenty. For cut off from me, you can do nothing. So just a few things to nourish our reflection on these verses. In this time of prayer, let us open ourselves to renewed encounter with Jesus. Jesus himself tells us, remain in me. We are called to remain in Jesus, not as a theory or concept, but as a living person. He is alive and present in our lives. St. Teresa of Calcutta said, Do you really know the living Jesus? Not from books, but from being with him in your heart. Have you heard the loving words he speaks to you? The devil may try to use the hurts of life, and sometimes our own mistakes, to make you feel it is impossible that Jesus really loves you. Is really cleaving to you. This is a danger for all of us, and so sad, because it is completely the opposite of what Jesus is really wanting, waiting to tell you. Not only that he loves you, but even more, he longs for you. Yes, our life might be full of brokenness, broken friendships, broken promises, broken dreams, etc. We might be burdened by several instances of pain. However, we, as Jesus' disciples, are called to return again and again to the true vine and allow Jesus to simply love us. Without remaining in Jesus, we will easily be led to the darkness of despair and sadness. With Jesus, we receive the love, peace and joy we need to walk on in this journey of life. Do we truly trust in Jesus? Is our faith one that is that becomes complacent in the good times? Is it one that we, in difficult times, find ourselves occasionally cursing or perhaps praying as a bargain to lessen the difficulties? Help us truly have faith, to truly trust in Jesus Christ. So that we say, Jesus Christ, I trust in you. And we do so regardless of the circumstances that we find ourselves in. Brothers and sisters, let us pray to the Lord for a moment. God, our Father, you are our faithful God, even in days of trial for the Church and for each of us personally. You stay by our side, even if we are not aware of your presence. Give us an unlimited trust in you and make us ever more aware that your Son Jesus is the meaning of our lives and that he nourishes us with himself in the Eucharist today and every day forever. Amen. During this glorious season, We keep on praying for the prayer intentions of our love Wilbur Day family, 
composed of 272 members, and we dedicated these last three days and today to one of our monthly prayer intentions. Today, we will pray for our missionary, Spring in the Church. Lord God, renew our missionary dynamism in our diocese, country, and throughout the world by remembering that the heart of the mission of the Church is prayer. Heavenly Father, empower us by the gifts of the Holy Spirit to be courageous and zealous in bearing witness to the Gospel and make us leave in the world so that your love heals what is broken and sanctifies the world. O oh Lord, move us to participate in promoting the common good so that we always work to feed the hungry, welcome the stranger and clothe the naked in our local, national and global communities. We now pray for our three communities, Osmotherily, Legion of Mary from St. Teresa's Church, Living Water in Trinidad and Tobago, and for our clergy and religious, for Robert and his proceeding towards ordination as deacon, and for all seminarian in the Clifton Diocese, that they may listen to the voice of the Lord and follow it with courage and joy. For Morgan, who has entered Mary of the Morning Star Order as a novice, with deep peace of mind and thank and heart, thanks be to God. For Father Andrew, Naomi's brother, who was ordained in March this year. For Father Richard, Sister Sajatha, and the volunteers of the St. Nicholas of Tolentino's Food Bank, and all the people in great need in these difficult times, the SVD priests, Father John OCD, Father Francis, Father Valens, Father Rupert, Father Adam, and Father Larry, including our Bishop Declan and our Holy Father, Pope Francis. Now, let us pause for a few seconds and present all the intentions we have in our hearts to the Lord. We now conclude this time together by bringing all these intentions towards our merciful Mother Mary, so that she may intercede for us to her beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by saying, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Queen of Heaven, rejoice. Alleluia. The Son you merited to bear. Alleluia. Has risen as he said. Alleluia. Pray to God for us. Alleluia. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you all for listening and praying with us. Once again, Happy Easter to you all. God bless you, and please share with your friends, relatives, and community the joy of Easter to all those around you. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel on YouTube and follow us on Instagram. The Love Verbum Day Ministry hopes that this podcast helps you to deeply welcome the Word of God and give you the strength to put the Word into practice where you are. If you have any query or you want to send us prayer intentions, use our email address, which is lov underscore verbumde, V-E-R-B-U-M-D-E-I, at outlook.com. Thank you.